Matthew and today I'm going to do a five minute uh, stick vertical bar uh, whatever you want to call it kind of necklace I've seen a lot of people wearing these kind of necklaces and it's kind of interesting in that you can do um, several different uh, lengths of, of the uh, the wire or you could just do one on its own um, it's very simple to do basically I've already pre-cut my wire here and this is in a 14 gauge um, I've noticed that they have 12 gauges available at Beataholic, so you can check there. Um, it, it would give you a, just a bit thicker of a design, um, but the 14 is pretty decent. I wouldn't go much uh, higher than a 16 uh, because it might be a little too thin, but really you can play with it. Okay, so basically now that I've pre-cut it, it's 3 inches and 2 inches, so I'm going to do a 3 um, a three bar necklace. Now again, you can just do the 1 or, or 2 or three, four, whatever you prefer. Okay, so basically I want to keep my wire straight as straight as possible when I'm starting out. And this is because as I hammer it, it will start to, uh, to move uh, when it's starting to get uh, work hardened. This is fairly stiff already because it is a, a heavier gauge. Um, dead stop, soft would give you a lot more wiggle room when you're working with it. Okay, so basically I'm just going to it with my ball peen hammer. It's a bit loud. And if you notice, is texturized and then the other half is round so you can see quite a bit of a difference and it will become wider as I work on that. Okay, so can you want to do this whole thing? Okay, so I've texturized it. Now I'm going to flatten it. If you notice, it's a bit curved now. Now I'm going to flatten it. Now when I do flatten it, it will take some of that texturizing out, so you might want to go back afterwards. Now, you also see, as I've been doing it, it's sort of shifted a little bit. So when I when I see that, I'm basically just going to take my wire, sorry, my pliers, and bring it back into uh, position. So I'm just going to make it a little bit straighter. But even if it's a bit, a bit uh, not perfectly straight, it's kind of an interesting, more rustic kind of appearance. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish texturing again. A little bit more texturing just to give it that nice, uh, that nice texture. And uh, let me just get the last little bit done. And it's quite stiff now, so it's perfect. Another thing you might want to do is, you know, you cut that wire. So the end that is not going to be the top, uh, the, the hanging end, you want to take your file and just file it straight. That way it won't be sharp. You don't want anything sharp that's going to cut you or or your uh, clothes. Okay, so now that I have it like that, it's very, very simple in that I just take my pliers and I'm just going to just do a simple curl, something big enough that my chain can easily fit through it. So that's my curl. All right, and now I'm just gonna take some chain and um, just slide it right through. I'm just gonna use some of that chain that I had already and just basically just slide it right through like that. So then if you notice, it is a little bit not as straight as it was originally, but still, it gives it a nice look. And you can still play with that, move it into place, make it a little bit straighter, okay? Another look that is, is kind of nice is if you do um, 
leather. I mean, this is a, like a just a more casual look, but I, it actually has a beautiful contrast, I think. So just slide that on there, and then you can just close it up, and you have this sort of look, which is quite nice too. Now, if I wanted to make that three, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I just did, and uh, I'm gonna do that for you, and then I'll come back and finish this necklace. Okay, so now I've hammered these like I did the other ones. I basically straightened them out. I'm just gonna show you that curl one more time. So basically, I'm just gonna go around with my pliers like that, and just make one curl. All right, and then I'll do another one. And about the same size. Oh, it's a little bit bigger, but it's still okay. Um, and then I'm just going to slide it onto my piece of leather. Okay, and just make sure that all the loops are facing the same way. I'm just gonna have to open that up a little bit more. All right, or if you have an open end of your leather, you can just slide it, slide the loop right over it. But this one, uh, this piece is already finished with a clasp, so. That's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, and just put that one on there. All right, close it up. And then you have a really cute necklace, stick necklace. Now you can always play with the length. I mean, if you want, I've seen people with um, super long uh, sticks in the center. Now, if you want to have something longer, you can go longer, you can go shorter. Uh, you can go any way you like. You can do um, as many as you want, and uh, really, it's all up to you. Um, and it's a it's a really quick quick gift. So um, that concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye.